we are uh, adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Let me write down the problem for you. Three and three fourths plus two and three fourths. Three and three fourths plus two. And three fourths. Who knows what? I'm going to say, first of all, you must do. I'm not asking who's asking, even though you know what you're supposed to do, you won't do it based on our last assignment. Kale Fisher? Right up and down. Right up and down. So you get 3 and 3 fourths plus 2 and 3 fourths. Which means you would do what then? Somebody going once, going twice more? Add it up. Well, let's take a piecemeal here. What's the first thing I'm going to add? And what do I get if I add those fractions? Yeah, keep the same bottom number, add the top. Add the whole numbers, you get 5. 5 and 6 fourths is kind of the right answer, but we need to do what? And here's the new thing, and I don't know if you need to do this or not. We haven't talked about reducing fractions or changing this, but what really is 6 fourths? The book wants you at this point, maybe to get out your little fraction manipulatives and look and see what does 6 fourths really do. I don't know if you really have to do that or not, if you can kind of get this. If you had 6 1 fourth pieces, what does that actually give you? If you take 6 of those quarter pieces, John, 1 and 1 and 1 half. Why? Well, four of the quarter pieces give you one, so that's where the one comes from. You're then left with two remaining quarter pieces. So like I said, the reason why fractions are difficult is you're not allowed to leave it as two-fourths because if you put two one-fourths together, you end up getting a half, which is what John said there. So you end up with six and a half. Have we done fractions this year? Yes. Like this, though, improper? Yes. Um, I did that last year. I know you did, but I don't want to, like, throw more at you than you can actually get. How about one more? Sure. Uh, one and one eighth plus two and seven eighths. One and one eighth plus two and seven eighths. If then you add that together, If you add those together, you get, right? Well, 1 eighth plus 7 eighths is, in fact, 8 eighths. And this is this is 3. And since you know that 8 eighths, if you take all your 8 little 1 eighth fraction pieces put together, you get a whole circle. Add it to 3, and you end up with, do we have to go any farther? No. Yeah. 